Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Glowing Jack's Pumpkin Patch. It's, we have been working on a sheep here lately. It's looking, it's looking decent. It's looking decent. Uh, sheeps are hard. That is one of the hardest things that I think I've had to carve for somebody. I mean, there's, you look at a sheep, you think you know what a sheep looks like until you don't know what a sheep looks like. Like you have to look at the skulls and how their bone structures come out on their face and how they stand and uh, it's, it's been a crazy one. But a couple quick things I wanted to show you on fixing cracks when it comes to your carvings. Now we do have a couple like small checking and things like that. I, it's it's hot right now in Kentucky. And I try to keep my carvings out of the sun. I try to keep them in a nice shaded, it's in my garage. It's not in direct sunlight. It's not gonna get super heated out in the sun. A lot of people are like, just let it go. You know, let the cracks flow out. And that's part of the artwork and stuff. And I completely agree with you. I think it is. I just try to minimize I try to minimize it and do the best I can while it's in my care though. That's what, you know, when a customer sees it, you know, I explain to them that yes, it will crack. It will split out. If you put it in the sun, it's gonna super dry that outside and the inside is still gonna be wet from the live wood. It's almost impossible around here in my area to get a hold of, you know, pure seasoned out woods. It's just not, it's just not that way here. Uh, if you're gonna carve something like all the hardwoods, you know, if you're gonna carve oak, maple, cherry whatever you're gonna have to find something that was live within the first couple weeks or somewhere in that time period or it's gonna be gone you know people just don't hang on to logs around here like that so let me show you what we're fixing you know right here on this sheep i got a couple about right here i got a couple of cracks i fixed quite a few of them and i was sitting here thinking it's like well this may be something you know to show people let's see you may be able to see i got one right here i just patched in Cause this is where the, the pith of the wood was right here on this top. And, you know, it just kind of came out and surprised me. I did have a knot right here that I've already filled in and put a white stain on it. Uh, so I got this crack right here to the left and I just wanted to show you what I do to fix these things. I know a lot of people let them flow. And if you're a let them flow type of person, you know what, let them flow. But what I do and what I've learned that I've learned this from other carvers, you know, we're all thieves. We steal it from somebody else. Uh, I take wood glue. Now this is the, uh, this is just the Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Glue Max. It's uh, waterproof and stainable. It's almost like it has like sawdust in it itself. That's what it kind of feels like. And then I just take some of my shavings. You know, I try to find the finest, the smallest one. Some people will go at it, go at it, cut off a piece of wood with a, uh, a grinder and a flat disc. I know I've seen Ryan Cook do that before. He goes at it, you know, a piece of the wood and just creates real fine. Uh, either way, I think you can you can make the shavings as big as small. The smaller they are, the better they go into the crack. So, I mean, that's pretty, pretty safe. I mean, if you got something big, you can use big shavings, I guess, you know, or if you use small shavings, whatever you want to use, use the dust or powder, take it down to as big or small. And you just want to turn this into a paste. I mean, it's, it's not... This isn't anything complicated. This is where you're gonna just take time on your carving, you know? I, uh, I would highly recommend just on some of these carvings that people put out, just take your time. Let's see what it's gonna do for a few days. Uh, you know, unless you're just really swamped back. Did you see what I did there? I had the shavings in here, glue. I put it in a little cup. That's just what I do. Some people put it on a, uh, on a, uh, on a paper plate, something like that. But I just like to, I just mix it up, you know, I'll get dirty with it. <laughs> so, so just mix it up like this, get it all mixed in together. You're gonna put this in a nice, like pasty. Now this is, it is a little thick. I got bigger shavings right now and I wasn't meaning to grab this big of shavings, but I'm gonna show you the consistency in here in just a second. I don't like it too runny. I think that takes a long time to dry uh a little bit thicker is where i kind of lean towards but not too thick to where you can't push it in uh it's just something you gotta play with you know what i mean as you can tell it's pretty thick stuff and then you're gonna sit here and you're gonna come across where your crack is and you're just gonna lightly push it in at first just that way you're getting it kind of where you want it to be and then you're really gonna try to fill up this crack you're gonna push it in as much as it can go and we'll have to touch this up later, you know, sand this down after it all finishes out, restain it. This is just uh, one of the cracks that popped up overnight 
and I'm just kind of letting this thing sit as it go and cure and dry out and just fix what I can while I have it. You know, things will pop out later on in the sun once it really starts to cure out. And there's just so much you can do. But this is one of those things I do while it's in my care. So hopefully that taught you a little bit something about cracks. You know, if you got the bigger cracks, I know there's a lot of stuff out there where you can put wedges and glue those in. This is just for the small things, you know, the uh, little hairline checks and cracks that come up across everything. Try to position those cracks if you can, where your pith is, to the very center of the log. It's always going to try to go to the furthest, sec the closest section, you know, to the outside of the log. So if you have a pith right there and it's closer to one side of your log, maybe make that the back of your carving or something in that nature. Anyways, hopefully this helps. Hopefully enjoy, like, share, subscribe, do all those things. Have any questions for me? I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks.